Hi, Trinity Baptist School family. I just wanted to come on and uh, just give words of encouragement uh, to everyone. Uh, it's a unique time that we're dealing with, and I know that our students are missing one another. Our teachers are missing having the students in the classroom. Uh, we'd all certainly prefer uh, to be back in the building with all the activities going on. And uh, but we can't do that right now. And we just want you to know that uh, we're very prayerful about how we're proceeding through this. Uh, we are praying for you as moms and dads, uh, having some added responsibilities and helping your children with their distance education. Uh, we're praying for our students. Um, change is difficult for everyone. And uh, so it, it needs prayer, doesn't it? But the other thing I wanted to do is just take a few moments to uh, give you encouragement as to uh, maybe even some helps with the distance education thing. Uh, just prior to doing this, I learned that our governor has now extended our stay at home order to May 15th. So um, we were hoping that maybe uh, that could be only a two week extension, but he set that all the way out to May 15th. So uh, just some tips, maybe principles for keeping it together uh, during distance learning. And um, some of these uh, ideas I got after listening to a podcast from the American Association of Christian Schools. Uh, we are a member of that national organization um, as being from Christian Schools of Vermont, also New England Association of Christian Schools. And then uh, the American Association of Christian Schools does a lot for us, um, mostly in protecting our freedoms by watching the legislature in uh, Washington, DC, and uh, taking part in lobbying our congressmen and so forth. But they provide a number of other helps as well. Um, so, uh, I got some help from them and trying to think through uh, how do we help one another. And uh, the first tip, the first principle is to just extend grace. I remember when I would go to my dad for help in math when I was a young high school student. And boy, those, those times were tough uh, because you know, my teacher did the math one way and dad didn't understand his way of doing it. So he's trying to tell me how to do algebra uh, his way. And uh, boy, that just created a lot of uh, frustration uh, between the two of us and uh, between my dad and the thoughts that he had about the school that I went to and those kinds of things. It wasn't bad or anything like that, but there was certainly some frustration. And so this idea, uh, principle, not ideas, principle of extending grace, uh, extend grace to yourself during this time. Um, don't get overly frustrated. Um, just realize this is a new endeavor and uh, there'll be an adjustment period with it and uh, give yourself a break. Uh, extend grace to your children. There's going to be some frustration, how to figure out how to do things. Um, again, teacher says uh, it should be done this way. Parents trying to, even though uh, I think our instructions have been pretty clear, uh, it's, it's not easy to read instructions and extending grace in that way. Uh, extend grace to your children. Uh, extend grace to your school. And I think you all have done that. Boy, I'm so appreciative of the kind words I've heard um, the compliments that we've heard. I, I'm sure we frustrated you at times through this. Um, and, and if that is a significant thing, uh, let me know, call me, talk to me, email me. Um, but for the most part, uh, we all are taking on some added responsibilities. Uh, there's a lot of pressure. Uh, the things that teachers are doing are extremely time consuming. And I know you appreciate that. Um, and uh, we want to try to put ourselves in your shoes, in your perspective as well. And so I think extending grace to one another is so important. And then uh, this 
I idea for your elementary children is certainly important. And that is provide structure during this time. Um, children need structure. And for the most part, they strive uh, under structure. And so uh, the elementary teachers have taught lessons on video and they have the packets with the work and uh, try to provide some scheduling with that, some structure. It's gonna have to be flexible. We, we know that, especially with families where both mom and dad are working. Uh, but try to have a daily schedule with it uh, and some structure with their learning. Uh, this will help your family. This will help you. But again, uh, keep in mind, there needs to be some flexibility with that. So have a routine with how they do their, their distance learning. Um, and this is important. Within that schedule, take breaks. The younger the children are, uh, the more important that is. Remember, at school they have recess. And so uh, they ought to have breaks and they ought to have recess with their uh, home education as well. And then uh, number three, Find a way to keep your kids connected in their other relationships. So uh, remember, they haven't been around their school friends for weeks, and uh, that's important to them. So take advantage of the technology. Um, maybe they can FaceTime their friends. Um, find ways, uh, maybe phone calls, letters, um, where they can, they can just keep in touch with their friends. and. This is very, very important. And I'm sure you know this, I'm sure you realize this, but stay connected with your church. And uh, I think all of our churches um, in the area where our uh, parents uh, are, are attending, our members have some kind of uh, live streaming services, uh, come together as a family, treat that just like church, get them up in the morning, have them get ready, uh, have them watch uh, your pastor uh, preach his message um, boy, take advantage of that. And um, then have your own uh, quiet time together as a family. Uh, have time where you're praying together, reading the Word of God together. Um, and uh, I would add this, uh, take advantage of the fact that people are concerned about things. Um, some concerned in a very big way. This is really uh, a time where it's just a wonderful opportunity to share the gospel. I don't want to make this video too long, but uh, let me try to do this briefly. Uh, my wife uh, had a phone appointment. Uh, I think it was like a Zoom appointment with uh, her doctor yesterday. And uh, this is a man who talks with us often. Um, most of our family members go to him. And uh, he talks to us often about what he calls faith. And um, he was asking uh, my wife questions. He is uh, Jewish by birth, but he's not a practicing Jew. Um, and he will tell you he's agnostic. But he asked Dana the other day, he said, Dana, do you think that this virus is God's judgment uh, on the world? And Dana said, well, no, I don't know about that, but it is certainly the result of living in a sin-cursed world. And that allowed her an opportunity to begin to share the gospel with him. And at the end of that conversation, he said something like this. I'm sure I'm not quoting it uh, directly or exactly, but he said, you know, Dana, I'm surrounded by people of faith, but there's something different about you. You actually believe it, you actually practice it. And he said, I just want you to know, I've been comforted by our conversation. Wow, we're just praying that the Lord will use that. Folks, uh, you're gonna run into people like that uh, at this time. There's a lot of fear out there uh, about this and use it as an opportunity to, to speak into their spiritual life and to speak the truth of the gospel to them. And then uh, the last tip should seem uh, very practical, and that is just, just get outdoors as a family. I understand we have to, to keep the, the distance. Uh, that's important. Don't put your family at risk. But isn't outside in the fresh air 
uh, one of the best places we can be. So take your family on a walk where it's not going to be crowded. Uh, take them on a hike, throw the bikes in the, the back of the van, go to an empty parking lot for a bike ride. Um, but uh, while you stay cooped up in that house, uh, everyone's going to be at conflict with one another. So um, find a way to get outside and to breathe the fresh air and um, just relax for a while. And that can be done in the house too. Let's just spend time together as a family. I hope this helps and uh, just want you to know we love you. Uh, we are praying for you. Uh, we're in this together and um, we're going to do the best we can to educate our children from a distance. And again, if I can be a help to you, uh, just give me a call. Uh, my number is out there. It's available. My email address. Um, and uh, if nothing else, just uh, words of encouragement, I'm sure, are very much appreciated at this time. Well, God bless. Um, and uh, we are praying for you again.